Hey YouTube, uh, this is going to be an entry into Watcher Azazel's June Challenge, um, where you basically name your favorite director and kind of say why. Um, this was really kind of between, I wouldn't call them my favorite exactly, because I don't really play favorites, but it was really kind of between, uh, between Alex Proyas in his movie Dark City and, uh, Joss Whedon and all the stuff I've seen of his, which is like, season one of Firefly, season one of Angel, season three of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Serenity, but... Uh, and I was actually going to watch this again just to review all the things I like about it, but my brother left the PlayStation on again, and it's the only thing that in our house that can play uh, Blu-ray Blu movies, and I don't want to. Uh, get the yellow light of death with this in it. Because this one fucking awesome movie. Um, and it's Blu-ray. So, I think I only got it for like $20 though. Cheap at Walmart. But it was, it's an awesome movie. Um, um, personally, I think this is kind of off the cuff, I should say. And um, so it's not scripted and it's probably not going to win anyway, but basically I think uh, Joss Whedon's best work was Serenity, which I haven't watched in a while and I, I gave my copy away so I can't watch it again and name like a few specific reasons, but I can uh, name a few. Um, personally I think it was better than his... Um, other series like Angel and Buffy the Vampire Slayer mainly because Buffy was it's not a bad series but it's mostly like a teen drama and it's it's again it's not bad it's just kind of I don't know how to explain it really but um also Angel um I, personally, I think it was better than Buffy, but, I mean, there's still, like, I wouldn't have noticed it if, uh, people in the Hulu discussions hadn't pointed it out, but there's a few shots where there's, like, a foot sticking out, and it's not, like, a foot of the main character, but it's just, like, random thing, and there's also, uh, I'm not gonna say who it is, because it's a major plot point, but there's also a dead guy who blinks. <laughs> and, I mean, these are not, like, totally obvious, and I probably wouldn't have noticed them if, um, people hadn't pointed them out, but I'm pretty sure critics would have noticed them, because they're trained to look for these kind of things. So, yeah, there's that. And I also think, uh, I also like Serenity better um, than the actual Firefly series that I've seen of because um, a lot of people have pointed out that they mainly just have a bunch of guns while every now and then they have like a laser gun which I don't really have a problem with that but I kind of like how they portrayed the characters in the movie better than the series. Um, and I, th I also like Mr. Universe, um, which, um, according to the Firefly Wiki, he was only in the movie Serenity, but I like him better because he's not, like, an original character, uh, but, um, he's not original, like I said, because... He's ba basically like the hacker that can hack into any system. Uh, and he's just like super smart and everything. So he's not original like I said before. But he is unique in a few ways. And 
I mean, even though I haven't seen Serenity in such a long time, uh, I can still remember, like, you can't stop the signal and stuff like that. And, hold on, I think uh, my brother's back with food. I'll stop the video here. Okay, continuing with the last video, um, hopefully Mo Windows Movie Maker will edit these together correctly. <laughs> And I won't have to redo the entire thing, but, um... Okay, the last thing I was talking about was Mr. Universe, and... Of course, he's, um... He's one of the characters I liked, but... Um... I don't think he was one of the main characters, really, so he's kind of... Um, he, he wasn't really well-developed, so... I mean, he's not the best character in there, but he's at least one I remember and one I like. Um, hold on a second. Again, he wasn't the best character in there. Um, I think uh, one of the better characters was the operative. Um, he actually got, I think he got like number one in Joshua the Anarchist's uh, top ten bad guys. And I kind of like him for the reasons stated. Because he is a bad guy. He is the antagonist who kills like a few people in the movie but he's very complex and he actually doesn't like his job and he's very like uh he's not like this sociopath who's going everywhere and just killing people for no reason he's not like totally unpredictable he has goals but he's also um he's also like like I said, really calm, and he doesn't like what he's doing, but he does it anyway, because that's his job. Um, and I can't really uh, describe the total complexity of him, but because I haven't seen it in a while, but um, I might link uh, Joshua the Anarchist's video in the description if, it, if I can find it. Um, it was on his blog, uh, blog spot, but I'll link it if I can find it. And I think he was really actually more complex than, I've only, I mean, I've only seen the first season, but he was more than complex than most of the bad guys I've seen in the first season of the Firefly series. So, I mean, compared to some of those guys, he was pretty awesome. And... Um, I also liked, um, I can't remember her name, but she was the doctor's sister, and in the movie she actually goes, like, I don't know what trigger, I don't remember what triggers it, but she actually, uh, almost goes crazy and turns into this, like, super warrior who can kick everybody's ass. And I think, the, even though that was kind of like an added element that I don't think they really had to the series because of the character's reaction to it, but um, I think that was kind of cool that they included that at least because uh, that was really awesome. Um, and then, of course, uh, of course, uh, the doctor guy still has the um, certain word. I can't remember what it was because it was like in the weird language that actually knocks her out and stuff. So, I mean, 
I suppose... I suppose it was kind of like just an added thing that may have got it some criticism, but I thought it was pretty cool. And, um, again, I've only seen season one of Firefly, but I think I also like uh, Wash better in the movie than in the series, because so far in this season one, he didn't really have a prominent role. But in the movie, he, um, in the movie, he actually has, like, a prominent role, like, so much that if they, they have to entirely depend on Wash to fly the ship, otherwise they're all going to, like, die and the movie's going to end there. And, of course, he had this, like, special line, like, I'm a leaf on the wind, watch me soar, which was really, um, really memorable and really cool to me, um, and, I mean, there's, like, a whole bunch of reasons why I still like the movie, and I kind of want to buy another copy of it just to watch it again, but, um, I think I'll just stop the video for now, because it's already been, like, over ten minutes, um, of me talking about it, so, at least for this challenge, um, I say Joss Whedon is kind of my favorite director. If, at least for this, I mean, I don't, again, I don't really play favorites because it's kind of, there's always going to be a better one than your favorite in, anyway, so. But again, for the, for the sake of the series, Joss Whedon is my favorite, so. Uh, I may need... I may do another video after this, but for now, peace out.